How to use your selection tab to select tags. In the earlier tutorials on using the auto selection tool, we show you how to work with selecting fittings. Now what we're going to do is show you how to work with selecting tags. All the basic principles are the same, however, there's a few different options we offer for tags. We're going to go right here where we've got our list of entities. We're going to hit T for tag, and then what we're going to do is take a look at our options. First, we have our selection criteria. It says here, interactive selection, all drawing, and current selection. These three options are identical to those for selecting fittings. However, we also have the option for by selected entity. To demonstrate the difference between current selection tags and by selected entity tags, what we're going to do is we're going to exit out and we're going to highlight this drawing. But we're only going to highlight the three tags you see in the window. And the last one right here, this last 36 by 18, we're not going to highlight it. So currently selected, we only have three tags and two pieces of duct. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run the auto selection tool. We're going to make sure we go to the selection tab. We've changed the tag. We have it on current selection. We're going to press OK. Notice what that does is it isolates only the tags based on what was currently selected. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight again the same area. We're only going to highlight three tags and two pieces of duct. Once again, take notice that the last tag, 36 by 18, is not highlighted. We're going to go back into the auto selection tool. And the only difference we're going to make here is this time under the selection tab, we're going to choose by selected entity. What by selected entity means is isolate the tags within the entities that are selected. In this particular case, it's going to mean duct. If we press OK, you'll see that Practicad isn't just holding the ones that were currently selected in the window, it's also grabbing this tag because both pieces of duct were, were highlighted, therefore by selected entity, we wanted to grab all the tags associated with it. For example, now what we're going to do is we're going to put two grills on the drawing. We're just going to grab a simple supply grill, we're going to put one on the drawing, and then we're going to put a second one on the drawing. We're actually going to highlight both the tag and the grill here, or the entity, and then we're just going to click on the entity here. Notice that that tag is not highlighted. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into auto selecting. We're going to run the by selected entity selection criteria. We're going to press OK. And notice Practicad grabs both tags. Why? Because by selected entity means all the tags associated with the specific entity. So that is one of the differences between tags and fittings in the selection is obviously the selection criteria by selected entity. The next ability we have in the tagging selection automatics is the ability to grab tags based on the tag type. Currently, there's only seven different tag types in the software. General, property, elevation, size, custom tags, piece number, and arrow. If we'd like, we could say highlight the entire drawing, but only grab tags that are property tags or custom tags. In order to figure out what a specific tags type is, the easiest thing usually to do is to left click on it once and then right click and go into edit tag. And there are separate tutorials on editing your tags. When you do this though, Practicad will always list the tag type in the top left, whatever this tag happens to be. So you can see that this particular tag, its type is property tag. As opposed to if we come over to the 36 by 18 or the 56 inch tag and we go to edit tag here, you'll notice that these tag types for this particular tag happens to be custom. Therefore, if we were to go run a selection automatic right now across the whole drawing, but only select the tag type property, it should highlight just this one. To demonstrate that, we're going to go into the auto selecting icon on our automatics panel. We're going to come over here to selection. We choose tags. We're going to say all drawing. And what we're going to do is just check property. And when we press OK, you'll notice that Practicad will only highlight the property tag because that is the tag type of this specific tag. So this is one of the big differences between selection criteria between tagging and fittings. The last thing we'd be able to do is to select a condition set. Just like we do it for fittings, we can select condition sets for tags. 
The next ability we have in the tagging selection automatics is the ability to grab tags based on the tag type. Currently, there's only seven different tag types in the software. General, property, elevation, size, custom tags, piece number, and arrow. If we'd like, we could say highlight the entire drawing, but only grab tags that are property tags or custom tags. In order to figure out what a specific tags type is, the easiest thing usually to do is to left click on it once and then right click and go into edit tag. And there are separate tutorials on editing your tags. When you do this though, Practicad will always list the tag type in the top left, whatever this tag happens to be. So you can see that this particular tag, its type is property tag. As opposed to if we come over to the 36 by 18 or the 56 inch tag and we go to edit tag here, you'll notice that these tag types for this particular tag happens to be custom. Therefore, if we were to go run a selection automatic right now across the whole drawing, but only select the tag type property, it should highlight just this one. To demonstrate that, we're going to go into the auto selecting icon on our automatics panel. We're going to come over here to selection. We choose tags. We're going to say all drawing. And what we're going to do is just check property. And when we press OK, you'll notice that Practicad will only highlight the property tag because that is the tag type of this specific 